Hi folks, uh, thanks for your support. There's a bit of Saunders Waterford, uh, a, a £90 watercolour paper. Uh, give it a bit of a slightly bluey soak. Wet in wet, as always. Okay, go around the uh, clips, otherwise it'll stay dry and then you won't, you'll have a corners. Right, okay, so let's um, put, a, put a bit of light red across the sky and a bit of yellow ochre. So. No, no, we're not going to paint. I'm going to make something up. Right, now we'll put in a bit of blue. Well, a lot of blue actually. If I put water in, I'm going to do the reflection. <coughs> Right, now I'm going to turn it on its uh, side, like that, oops, uh, okay, now we want a bit of cloud, so let's get some cloudy colour, a bit of red, a bit of blue, Top here. Right, okay. <coughs> now we'll go back to where we were. <coughs> now you can see that the paint is spreading in the paper and you can you can direct it. I a bit hard with me because of these these clips, but um Oh, let's get a nice bit of, bit of that colour in here. That will dry much lighter, so you have to make allowance for that. Okay, that'll do. Reclip the paper. You don't need to pre stretch or shrink. I used to do that with the old three inch browns brown um, parcel tape, just wet it with a brush and stick it all around the edge and then it will shrink. But it's such a palaver, you don't need to do it. Just use four clips and re-clip and just stretch it. Stretch the lumps out as you go. Uh, I hope that disappears, I shouldn't have done that. But I'm going to put in a bit of a background now. Oops. A little hake. This is the medium hake, the Ranson. There, there, there are several versions of this, so the large Ron Ranson hake, but these are these, from my experience, are the best ever. They do lose their hairs, but they, they do wonderful things when you get used to them. You don't have to, to use it, the hakes. I mean. It's just what I, I use. Let's put a bit of a background in there now. A bit of Payne's grey and a bit of a bit of bit of ultramarine. 
I'll go over that. Just see what happens. So these hairs coming out of these. They don't last forever, but so I've had this for a year or two. I don't think I even bought it. One of my lovely followers has sent me some. I even got one from uh, Hawaii. From Glenn. And Dennis Eves sent me a load of watercolours, a load of paper. How lucky I was. He didn't he got fed up with doing what guys he, he he didn't like them, he wasn't very happy with them. Well let's uh, uh see if we can just get that coming down a bit. You can always take a lift out. Just sort of when it's a bit drier you can just get a bit of separation between the trees, the background ground trees, and the reflections. Don't know if I completed the sentence. Then. Right. Okay. Well, that's all right. Now this it should run down uh, or spread. Whoops. Oh, right, that'll do. Uh, I don't know what I did there. Doesn't matter. They'll probably almost disappear. Um, I'm going to put a bit of a background colour in the foreground now. Uh, so we want a nice, nice green. Get a bit of red in there. Just a bit of Payne's grey and a bit of, bit of red, light red that is. Let's go in a bit of a... Just a bit of a... Bit of an island there. Bit of green. That's thick paint. Sort of almost tube consistency. Okay, put a little bit of a bush on there, I think. I like bushes, anything just to texture the foreground. A bit of, bit of warmer sienna. See now it's starting to, the papers, the gravity is moving the paint in the paper down now. Yeah, that's still, see if we can just get rid of that. <coughs> I 
<coughs> uh, right, I'm going to dry that now because I want to put some stuff coming up here. Put that back. So take your headphones off, folks. Go. Right, that's lovely and flat. So we're going to put some. Good bit of sienna, raw sienna. Bit of a spring. Look, just texturing, it's nothing really, but but we're looking out there, we're not looking down at our feet. So do foregrounds as quickly. Not only my advice, but okay, uh, while that's drying off, I will dry it, but I just want to just. Oh, it's a bit too wet. Right, okay. Now, I need to put some heavier stuff on there now. Just, just a bit of Payne's Grey and Ultramarine. Gotta have some water on your brush. A bit of, have a bit of green in there, I suppose. Uh, 
Okay, uh, so far, okay. Right, I'll dry that because I've got to get the filigree into there. Okay, so use the rigger and palette sort of green. But when you're doing reflections, what you put up, put down. I'll put a bit in here. A bit of reflection in there, a bit of movement. Okay, well that, that's going to have to do, I think. I'll shine it. I don't usually do it this side. Oh, that's other. Let's have a little bird okay yeah that's all right it's a quickie by the weekend I hope to do another one for you to fill my observation uh, let's put a mount on it Well there we are, it's a nice wet in wet watercolour. It's exploiting what watercolour does with the quality papers. The Fabriano I used to use, £130 studio paper, is good. It's certainly good for oil painting, but um, it's heavily sized and the water tends to stay on the surface much longer. That's why you can scrape it out quite easily. It's much more difficult with uh, with this paper to scrape out when it's still drying off. You can do it, but I prefer lift, lifting out. Anyway, I hope you like that one folks, I'll see you soon. Bye bye.